Donison, one of the core messages you keep delivering is where the key to own recoveries. What exactly do you mean? Thank you, Daniel. That's a big question. Let me see if I can start to, take, to chip away at that question just a little bit. Being the key to my own recovery means understanding how I'm working with my brain. When we have a stroke or other brain injury, brain tissue gets damaged, and it doesn't work. It's damaged. It's not doing what it used to do. So what does our brain do? It doesn't necessarily fix that damaged part. What it does is it builds connections around that damaged part that help us get, regain function and get back to what we were doing. This is neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is the capacity of our brains to change in a way that helps us do what we used to do or do something new. The brain is always changing. And when we practice being the key to our own recovery, we get involved in that change and we help to direct it. We help to make it move in the way that will most benefit us and help us regain function. We impact that change. And Alison, you just touched something very important. The brain can remap, reconnect its function. Is that what makes brain injury recovery different from healing a broken leg? It is. So when we have something like a broken leg, what happens is that the body fills in that break and it even builds a callus around the break, even more bone tissue, and it just fills it in. But the bone isn't doing a lot. The bone is making hemoglobin in its core, which is great, but it's not actually doing a lot of different things. The brain's different. The brain's doing all kinds of things all the time. And when it is doing that, it rebuilds connections and makes new ones. So what we do when we heal a brain injury is not to fill in some broken part. What we do is to make new connections. This ability to build new connections, in my understanding, is called neuroplasticity. And is this message, you are the key to your own recovery, driven by this mechanism? Yes. The, there's an intimate relationship between what we do and what we build in our heads. And therefore, what we do matters. And therefore, we're the key to our own recovery. 14 years after my stroke, the doctor said, we don't know how you're moving your right side, how you drove down here, how you're talking, because my left side, my left brain, was so damaged that they, they didn't even know how I did it. And so I said, I played a lot. It's no, you know, you know I, I was really depressed when I first had the stroke. I mean, unbelievable depression, angry, and then I got out of it, and I decided to play, you know, I decided to swim, I decided to take walks, and I mean, walking wasn't very easy, I could, you know, like, walk to the end of the driveway and back, and I would need a rest. 19 years later, and I'm still doing it, I'm playing mindfulness it's still a part of my recovery. Do you see, Daniel? I'm making the choice to play and stimulate neuroplasticity in that wonderful way that play does is acting as the key to your own recovery. She made a choice. You really could have sat still and moaned and continued her depression, or she could choose that she would get up 
and walk to the end of the driveway and that she would play and bring herself alive. She made that choice. She's the key to her own recovery. Sensitivity, the magic word and the greatest gift to all the survivors and everybody fighting the stroke. We will have more episodes about neuroplasticity and mindfulness in the future. So stay tuned.